Okay, you took me now. Took it. Took me first. Alright, switch on three. One, two, three. Sean Vega, and this is Tip Minute Tuesday, the segment of Hate by Design where we look at hacks, tips, and tricks to help you enhance your quality of life. Today we're talking about exercise, where you should do it, and when you should do it, and why it's so important to achieving your goal and setting a standard. There's a lot of science around the idea on what exercises should be done, when we should exercise, when it is most optimal for certain types of people. And we all understand the obvious benefits is being healthy, but it's number seven on our to-do list because if we add it into the beginning of our day and when we wake up, that's one more thing that we've achieved, we've won, created a set of endorphins to be excited about, to give us the chemical response that we need to feel good about ourselves, about our day, about our success. So there's a couple of other things that happen when we exercise. Not only have we created an endorphin that we've checked one thing off our to-do list, but we actually feel better. Some science has been done and some studies have been done. There's a podcast I'll link below by Jim Quick. He had a specialist come in and talk about why exercise is important. This specific show digs into how we have evolved as human beings on this planet and some of the things that we should do weekly and how it enhances our ability to not only create memory retention, learn faster, accelerated learning, but how to critically and creatively think better and what exercise has to do with that. Many of us know and understand that exercise helps us get more oxygen to the heart, lungs, and blood cells, which allows us to perform better, but also allows us to think more clearly more creatively, more outside the box, just perform better and as far as the relevance goes is our ability to problem solve. The podcast also talks about how certain movements, certain exercise enhance our ability to not only grow our muscles, but grow our habits in life pertaining to how we organically move body weight culture. Your ability to lift your own body weight in normal movements, such as squats or walking, like deadlifts, things that we would have done originally like our ancestors. We also got into the study about how like there's two two groups of people, people who are had like worked out for an hour or so, and then people who worked out like one minute at a time, extremely, extremely extremely hard and the results were that the people who worked out at one minute intervals extremely hard saw the same if not more benefit towards greater results than those who worked out moderately for a long period of time. So I'm not going to go into great detail on why those things are important. I really know it'd be a great benefit for you guys to go and listen to the podcast and take some notes for yourself. I do want to say working out does something chemically to the body and to the brain that encourages the mind to feel a certain way, to be excited about achieving goals and getting up. It wakes you up just like brushing your teeth. It's one more win. Also, it pertains to another one, taking a shower. Taking a shower is, is really important for achieving your goals. And if you work out in the morning, you're not going to go out in the day and just be sweaty and stinky, right? So then it's almost a no-brainer, like you have to take the shower. We're going to get into that because we're going to talk about why taking cold showers is important. It's going to create a micro win. You're going to feel really good. You're going to be excited you're going to take a shower and if you take a shower you're going to get dressed and if you get dressed you're going to put on your best clothes we're going to talk about why you should put on your best clothes so like exercising getting up riding a stationary bike riding your bike outside lifting my light weight you don't have to do something crazy you just have to do something committed simon Sinek says we don't know exactly how long it's going to take you to lose the fat mass that you want or gain the muscle mass that you want but we know if you commit to a program if you commit every day a couple days a week, whatever the thing is that you need to do, that in time, in some increment of time, you will achieve that goal. Uh, so let's go see Abby, see what she thinks.
challenge. Is exercise important to be a good dancer? How many times a week do you exercise? That's outside of dance in playing? Do you do it at home or do you do it somewhere else? Is your dance practice a workout? So how many times do you do dance? Twice. So you're doing the two workouts a week plus your at home workout, right? Alright, do you want you want everybody in the YouTube world to know? Oh, because it's their first time taking a breath, and it's also because when born in a hospital, doctors do something really stupid spank the baby if they don't cry. Did you know that? And they presume, they assume that if the baby isn't making noise, that it might not be alive, which is really unintelligent. Pretty stupid. Guess who didn't get spanked when they were born? You. No, because we had a midwife that knew better than to cause harm to a newborn human. Doesn't that just sound horrible? It does. Like yeah, you're, just, you're just born, as soon as you come into a room, somebody just smack you. <laughs> That's so mean. It's looking about that time and I'd like to thank you for yours. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to ring the notification bell to stay up to date with any new content, prizes, and giveaways, which I will be doing a giveaway soon where we've just hit 500 subs and I wanna do a thank you for that. And as we reach for a thousand subscribers, I want to give you guys a little bit of incentive to come hang out and share the content. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is where I post beautiful pictures. Twitter is where I rant with other designers about what is and is not designed. Call to action. If there was one exercise that everyone should do, leave it in the comments, let me know. Let's see if we add it to the regimen and to Avi's request, 15 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups, morning, afternoon, and night. Define, design, repeat. Go follow everybody at Decoy. That's Detroit conglomerate of YouTubers. They're gonna put you up on everything Detroit, and when you see them, say what up, though. Yes. As soon as I'm done with my hands, I have to come in. Don't slip. Don't dip. <laughs>